Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what are Azure AD registered devices and Azure AD joint devices. What is? The goal of Azure AD registered devices is to provide your users with support for the bring your own device or mobile device scenarios. In these scenarios, a user can access your organization's Azure Active Directory controlled resources using a personal device. Azure AD registered devices are signed in to using a local account like a Microsoft account on a Windows 10 device. But additionally, have an Azure AD account attached for access to organizational resources. Access to resources in the organization can be further limited based on that Azure AD account and conditional access policies applied to the device identity. Administrators can secure and further control these Azure AD registered devices using MDM, which is Mobile Device Management. Tools like Microsoft Intune, MDM provides a mean to enforce organization required configurations like requiring storage to be encrypted, password complexity, and security software kept updated. Azure AD registration can be accomplished when accessing a work application for the first time or manually using the Windows 10 settings menu. Scenarios A user in your organization wants to access tools for email, reporting time off and benefits enrollment from their home PC. Your organization has these tools behind a conditional access policy that requires access from an Intune compliant device. The users add their organizational account and register their home PCs with Azure AD and the required Intune policies are enforced, giving the user access to their resources. Another user wants to access their organizational email on their personal Android phone that has been rooted. Your company requires a compliant device and has created an Intune compliance policy to block any rooted devices. The employee is stopped from accessing organizational resources on this device. This is a small table how it would illustrate Azure AD registered definition. Register to Azure AD without requiring organizational account to sign into the device. Primary audience, as I told you, you can bring your own device, mobile device management. Device ownership is maintained by either user or organization but policies are enforced using Intune. So let me log on to the portal and show you the device settings. I am logged on to the portal. I click on Azure AD Active Directory. So you devices, you see here devices option. When the device would be joined here, the Azure AD or Azure registered device, you get the option under join type. All right, so remember we I told you how to join a Windows 10 device to Azure AD. You log on to your settings, accounts. That option tells you that the device is Azure AD registered or joined. And when it comes to Azure AD joint devices, Azure AD joint is intended for organizations that would to that want to be cloud first or cloud only. Any organization can deploy Azure AD joint devices, no matter the size or industry. Azure AD Join works even in a hybrid environment, enabling access to both cloud and on-premise apps and resources. Azure AD Join devices are signed in to using an organizational Azure AD account. Access to resources in the organization can be further limited based on that Azure AD account and conditional access policies. Administrators can secure and further control Azure AD Join devices using mobile device management tool like Intune, these tools provide a means to enforce organizational required configurations like requiring storage to be encrypted, password complexity, software installation, and software updates. Azure AD joint devices can still maintain single sign-on access to on-premises resources when they are on the organization network. Devices that are Azure AD joint can still authenticate to on-premise servers like file, print, and other applications. Scenarios would be while Azure AD join is primarily intended for organizations that do not have an on-premises or Windows Server Active Directory infrastructure, you can certainly use it in scenarios where you want to transition to cloud-based infrastructure using Azure AD and MDM like Intune. You can't use an on-premise domain join, for example, if you need to get mobile devices such as tablets and phones under control. Your users primarily need to access Office 365 
or other SaaS applications integrated with Azure AD. You want to manage a group of users in Azure AD instead of an active directory, you can use Azure AD joint. So if your computer is not joined to Windows Server domain, which is hosted on-prem and it is only joined to Azure AD from the with your Azure account. So if you want to join your Windows 10 computer to the Azure AD, you would log in with your uh, Azure AD account. Let's say if you go here and you are a user in my Azure AD, which, is, which has nothing to do with my on-prem AD. There is no Azure AD connect, there is nothing. So you, if you are a John, you would use this username to join this device that device on which you will log in to my Azure AD and then if I go back and go under my devices that device would be listed here and the joint toy would be Azure AD and owner would be John because that is his account and then if I have made conditional access policies then it would be compliant or non-compliant there is a conditional access policies here I can create conditional access policies and then your applic if you are oh, up to the mark with all the conditional access policies then your device will be compliant or non-compliant then you if you want to provide joining capabilities to workers in remote branch offices with limit on with limited on-premise infrastructure so this was the short video that i wanted to share with you guys regarding what are azure ad registered devices and azure ad churn devices and if you have any more questions concerns if you want to uh, if you want me to make videos on any specific topic, please mention that in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye. I see you in the next video.